And we'll be checking on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Liz and Mike from 1051 The Buzz joining us live. Good morning. Morning. Morning, guys. Good morning. morning. All right, some, uh, some good news here this yeah. morning. Jeremy Renner has been released from the hospital. Yeah, he was sent home from the hospital yesterday. He made the announcement on his social media. Uh, you know, it, it, it's a good, happy ending so far. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of physical therapy and different things in his future. Uh, but he had a lot of serious issues that took place after his incident uh, where he had to undergo surgery. There was blunt force trauma, all this orthopedic stuff. And then they sent him home. And he is just quite quite the good person at his job because he said, uh, outside my brain fog in recovery, I was very excited to watch episode 201 with my family at home, which is the season two premiere of his show, uh, Mayor of Kingstown. So he made sure to still get a plug in promotionally. Oh, oh there you go. Nice. <laughs> He's a pro's pro. Wow. And this is some of the first time that I'm seeing some of yeah. the video from Instagram. So I, I guess that was the snow pile that he That's what I was going to ask. Is that what that yeah. is? I've been so, using. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, that does not look cool at all. But no. you, you got to love Jeremy Renner plugging his own stuff while he's out there, having a good sense of humor about it. And while I, all eyes are on him right now, why not take that chance? You know, I, it's oh, yeah. just good to see him home and doing well. Yeah. 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 You no know, doubt. You know that recovery is going to be a lot more comfy at home. Yeah. For sure, nice so. news. Glad he's on the mend. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I have been just living for the Miley Cyrus reaction <laughs> videos all over social media all weekend long. Um, fans were having so much fun picking apart her new single. <laughs> Lots of little Easter eggs in here. A lot of things that people think are connected to her ex, Liam Hemsworth. So there are things that we can, in fact, confirm. And the first thing is that she released the single on his 35th birthday, Love January it. 13th, last week. Love it. So that way, whenever he opened anything on the internet or social media, it wasn't people telling him happy birthday. It was him seeing the headline about his <laughs> failed marriage with Miley and this song that came out. Uh, the other thing that people say that leads you to believe that it is about their marriage is it starts off with built a home and watch it burn which it seems to be alleging like towards the wildfires that burnt their house down when they right, were together. Right. Their wedding song was Bruno Mars, when I or If I Were Your Man, When I Was Your Man. Uh, and the whole thing in her chorus mirrors the chorus of that. Like, if I could buy you flowers, and then she's like, I can buy my own flower. So that's a good play on it. And then there, there is some alleged, there is alleged based on TikTok rumors. They are now denying it in some different publications, but they also say that the house that the music video takes place in, that Liam might have cheated there. Oh, Whoa. now that is more TikTok hearsay than anything else. Yeah. Completely gossipy, you know, Allegedly. before. Uh, yeah, said, in cap yeah. capital letters there. I need throw out so many air quotes. Yeah. Allegedly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's what happened. But if it's true, oh, 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 do, mm, the, the tea, it's just, it's, it's piping hot. <laughs> it's too hot. Do we, do we know, this is, sorry, do we know why they split up? Were, was it cheating allegations or is that all, or do we just, were they just done? It's gosh, it's tough to say because they they were on again, off again for basically their entire relationship. Ah, uh, that and they started dating so young, yeah. like they were both teenagers when they got together, oh. and so it's like they would break up, they would get back together, they break up, they get back together, and even there's another thing they allege in the video, and it was where Miley at one of the red carpets tried to like back it up on Liam, and he stopped her, and so she does the same dance in the music video. Uh, so like oh that's God. a difference of personalities as well. Like she's yeah. the one that wants to, you know. Everyone's going back through way. all the archives and finding these little awkward red carpet moments between the two of them. Oh my gosh. Where you can just yeah. see like their personalities, I think, just kind of clash. Yeah, don't work and, for each uh, other. It seems like Miley is kind of really stepping into her own now. Well, there's even one more red carpet instance that Miley wasn't even a part of that is a uh, uh, legend. Easter egg in this video and it is a gold dress that she's wearing in this video which apparently is a uh, resembling of a gold dress that Jennifer Lawrence wore on a red carpet premiere when she did a movie with Liam Hemsworth and uh, Jennifer Lawrence also admitted to at one point kissing Liam Hemsworth off camera so I don't know if that's a shot there either. Huh. 
Hmm. Now that's back when it was passengers. And I remember this because wrecking ball is what came out right before that happened or shortly thereafter in that breakup. Right. Right. Yeah. She's wow. been through, she's been through so many different, uh, you know, iterations of, of her music career and has mm -hmm. kind of reinvented herself a couple of times. I really like, I really like where she's at right now. I feel like she's tapped I in do. creatively. Yeah. I just, I love all the shade in this song. <laughs> I feel like for anyone who, bop. for anyone, it's, yeah, it's a great song. For anyone who needed to channel that, like, comeback energy for 2023. This is it. Crank it. All yes, right. It's so good. It makes, it makes my husband feel awkward. Like, our relationship is just fine, but I'm over here. <laughs> You're like, fine. I just need to pretend <laughs> like I'm mad at you for, for a little it. bit. Yeah. Oh, my well, gosh. <laughs> if you ever need a YouTube rabbit hole to go down, ju just, YouTube rabbit hole Miley Cyrus covering 80s rock songs, oh, and it is phenomenal. I okay. stand Miley Cyrus, and she actually sings Joan Jett better than Joan Jett sings Joan Jett. Whoa. I, I agree with you, Mike. I know. Whoa. It's great. Whoa. That's a, we'll have, that's we'll a, have a, yeah, there, we'll there have you a go. music education after the show we for will. you, Travis. We, but we are up against a break, so we got to go. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye, friends. And you can always catch Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz.